has. Um, this um, video is not the easiest to make. Um, I haven't really talked a lot about my grandmother. Um, she's been in a nursing home since 2015 when she had a widow maker heart attack. That's the one that you can't see when they do the scans and stuff because it's on the back side of the heart. And they call it a widow maker because usually you don't live through it. But she did. And I think she had another heart attack and was in the hospital for months. They found out that she also had type 2 diabetes. She had Parkinson's disease, um, congestive heart failure, and dementia. Um, the dementia came and went. Sometimes I could see her and she would think I was her sister. And I look nothing like her sister. And don't sound anything like her sister. Um, her sister had actually... Um, I guess my family's claim to fame is um, my great aunt was her last living sibling. And she was the baby, I believe. And she was working at the hospital and she was... 68, I think, or 70, and my grandmother was like 80, and she refused when the sickness started. She refused to leave her colleagues. She said, no, I'm going to stay here and do my job. They offered her early retirement because of her age. Well, this was on CNN. They did a story about her. She had been a nurse, an RN, in the emergency room for like 50 years at the same hospital. And unfortunately, um, the yuck got her. Um, you have to be careful what you say about the yuck um, because they'll flag your videos doesn't matter if it's monetized because I don't make anything off this anyway, but I wouldn't want them to flag my video because I said the word that you're not supposed to say. And we all know what that word is. So, my grandmother never knew that she had um, succumbed to the yuck. Um, my grandmother had it twice. And both times was asymptomatic. The only reason they knew is because they were doing regular swabs of the ladies and men in the nursing home. She passed away at around midnight. And the rain started pouring and it is still pouring rain but I just wanted you to know since you guys are like my family that heaven gained an angel I don't remember exactly what I wrote on Facebook but I told them that heaven gained another angel because my grandmother never had a crossword to say to anybody. Somebody could be blatantly just rude and ugly to her. And she would be like, bless your heart. And 
there was nobody that she didn't try to feed. She wanted to fatten everybody up. And she was so little. She was only four foot eleven. Could you imagine having a six foot one granddaughter <laughs> and a six foot two great grandson? Um that's gonna be drama now that there's the new soon to be stepmom in the picture. I'm either I told my ex husband he's not welcome. He is not to come on the funeral home property or to the funeral itself because especially if she's with him I can't control what I might do there'll be somebody posted out front my brother-in-laws that know Jason and they will be completely filled in and if I have to call the police I will um, I don't want to have to do that, but he's not going to come in there and start something with me or her try to talk to me because I've given them opportunities and they have done their best to try to keep my son away from me and I'm done, you know, my child will come to me when he wants to. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing, they'll come get her at some point this morning from the hospital. Anyway, what happened was it was the congestive heart failure that got her because she had pneumonia she sat in that nursing home for a week in the bed, sick. She told everybody that she was sick and that she felt like she had a heavy chest and that she was coughing and wheezing. And a week, they gave her just basic drugs to try to combat that. And eventually... They knew they had to send her to the hospital. She wasn't in the hospital that long. Not before last, she coded. Um, they had to get my mother a chair in the hallway because she started having an anxiety attack and almost passed out. That was her mama. And my sister was there. I never went to the hospital. I'm farther away and dealing with the sickness from this medication I didn't want she, at points she was still coherent and I didn't want her to see me with no hair because number one she's not going to know who I am but when she hears me she's going to know who I am because I would say, hey, Nanny, that's what we called her, N-E-N-E, -N -E, Nanny, and that was from me as the oldest child. She wanted to be called Granny, but I couldn't say that. I said Nanny, and so that's what she became. All three of her great-grandchildren call her Nanny, but um, they had her on the ventilator, and her heart stopped. She quit breathing, not before last. No, yesterday. Yeah. No. See, it's really morning, but still not time. But um, on Sunday night, that's it, Sunday night, her heart stopped and she quit breathing. And that's when my mama fell out. But they didn't break any of her ribs, even though they did have to give her CPR and a bag. And they, she had the, the ventilator, and they got her back. They took her to ICU, and that's where they saw that they actually saw a mass in her chest, in her lung, that she actually had lung cancer also, but it was undiagnosed. It must have came up after 
2015 um, because she had not been seriously sick since then. Not really. Um, I will see if I can get the video of her doing the twist in her wheelchair. Um, and that is the way I want to remember my grandmother, but younger. Um, she was beautiful. Looked like she stepped right off the reservation. You would not know that she was my grandmother as pale and red as I am. Maybe I got the American Indian red in me, but it's not because I've done the thing and I'm like French um, from France, um, London, uh, North Africa, like where Muslims are from, um, but not American Indian at all. Um, I don't see how, but I mean, of course I had a different dad. So, but my sisters are all, they have really dark hair though. And really pale skin. We're all pale as a ghost. But my mom and my uncle is pale as a ghost. But my mom, my grandmother, and my grandfather were all, like, baked. I mean, just brown. My mother never got pale, even during the winter. She could go out with a tank top. Or a spaghetti strap top and cut grass one time. She was good for the whole year. She she would brown back up, golden brown again, and they had green eyes, and we all had big blue eyes. So anyway, but she's gone to be with Jesus. My papa's waiting on her. He died in two thousand eight. A lot of sisters and brothers, grandparents, parents, and all the generations that have gone before her. And they're all dancing and singing. And she's feeding everybody because that's what she did. She wasn't happy until you had food on your belly. And she's knowing love like she never knew here on earth. She was a loved person, but nobody loves you like Jesus Christ. And he is with her now. And how can I cry and be selfish when she's got the best thing she could ever have happening right now instead of laying in that bed, drowning? She died on the ventilator. The ventilator couldn't even keep her going. They were going to disconnect it tomorrow or today. They never had a chance to. She saw my stepdad. She saw her husband, my papa. And I think she saw Jesus. She was raising her arms up. They said... Um, my mom said she was holding her arms up in the air and saying, Jesus, help me. Lord, Jesus, please help me. And boom, that was it. That was it. She never regained consciousness. She got shocked back, but she never regained consciousness. So... I wish that she would have passed when she asked to go. Um, that's why it's important to have a advanced directive. I know I'm going to fill mine out, but it's been almost 15 minutes, and you can see my eyes are getting red. They've been red. They're bloodshot from crying last night. But for some reason, I'm more calm. But when I see her, 
I'm going through pictures of her when, like, I was a baby. And they're going to make a, um, like, a rolling photo album. And they're going to start, I think my uncle has photos from her photo stash that was from when she was young. And they're going to go, I've, the I've got youngest I've got is when they got married, when my grandparents got married in like 1955 or 54, because my mama was born in 1957. So I'll be at the funeral home. Probably Friday and Saturday. Um, and I plan on getting a hotel or an Airbnb because it's an hour and a half away from here. And I really don't want to go back and forth so much but because I can see everything that goes on here. Um, so if anybody wants to give donations, because <laughs> Two nights will be a little steep. Um, and I um, got to have pictures printed out. And um, we're going to do all kinds of stuff. But um, if anybody wants to make a donation toward the spray and all that stuff and... Um, um, seeing if I can get somebody to retouch some of these photos between now and then, I would greatly appreciate it. If not, it is no big deal. I don't need backlash. I don't need smart comments. Please spare me that at this moment with what I'm having to go through. Being here alone my sisters both have loving husbands, but I'm here alone. Just me and Jesus. That's all I've got. And you guys. So, give me uplifting words and all the prayers that you can put on the screen. And all the prayers that you can pray on your knees. Because she has been 88 years here on this earth. Grand, uh, she had a daughter, a son, three granddaughters. I'm the oldest. And then Peyton, my son, is the oldest grand, great grandchild. And then she has another boy, great grandchild. Peyton's 15. Joshua is 13 or he's 14. And then, um, my baby sister has the great granddaughter, um, Carly, and she is six. This kind of ruined her um, birthday. My grandmother would have been 89 on December the 4th. So, God bless you all. Everybody say a prayer for my ninny in heaven and leave me well wishes and a donation if you want to help me pay for a room so I don't have to drive so much because my niece is, my, ugh, my knee is still in bad shape. Anyway, love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye. Sing, Mom. Sing it. Tell me what. Show me what you're doing. Mama, no. The twist. Do the twist. Do this, Mama. Come this. on, baby. Let's do the twist.